So initially, I thought my tone control problem went away, um, especially the problem I was having with the uh, bass control. But that was the only, actually, that was the only problem that I um, had. I had a little bit, I think, a little bit of scratching in the other pots. But um, now this here is kind of like a stepped uh, pot, a stepped uh, potentiometer and uh, my efforts did not work you can see here um, the whenever I turn that control here the basically the bass speaker moves um, the woofer basically moves in and out so I'm gonna have to open this up again and take another look at it because there's definitely something wrong on that board it's I don't think it's a transistor it's most likely a capacitor somewhere now here's my actual troubleshooting setup I'm using my old leader audio generator and I'm feeding in a square wave a 1000 Hertz square wave into the aux input and I've got the oscilloscope hooked up to or rather both probes of the oscilloscope hooked up to where the signal goes right into the I think it would be like the tone control board. Um, this is past the function. This is past the function switch. If you take a look at this here, this is um, the square wave being coming into the tone board. Now, let me go ahead and use the function switch here. You can see it now. It's in the phono position. We've got nothing, nothing there. So. <clears throat> signal looks good coming in so what I'm going to do now is go to the other end go to the actual output you can see it's that bottom channel right there you can see that square wave jumping up and down and that is the thump now in order to get rid of that thumping I had to replace all of the electrolytic capacitors I didn't have to basically replace them all but if you're going this far where the board's exposed, by the time you troubleshoot everything, I think there's like a total of eight capacitors, which I'm going to uh, write up in the description of this video. And that took care of the that uh, bass thump. Every time I used the bass control, you would get like a thump through the loudspeaker, which was like really irritating. So now I just discovered I still got thumping on one channel somewhat. Now here's what I did to clarify where the problem is coming from. This here is the, of course, the tone tone control board, and I disconnected the wire completely where it comes, where it leaves the tone control board and goes to the uh, main amp. And what I did then I just so I did a kind of this is a kind of a convoluted way of doing it. I just took two um, component leads I had left over, soldered it to the points where the signal leaves the tone control board, and then I took an alligator clip and then I alternately alternately ran the clip from one channel to the other channel, and then when I noticed I put it on this here the input to the when I connected the alligator clip to the input of the of this channel here then I noticed the square wave would start jumping up and down but not when I did it to with the other channel so basically I just um, basically swapped swapped the alligator clip around because um, this here where the alligator clip but now that was originally the bad channel and I wasn't sure whether it was coming from the tone control board where I had replaced all capacitors and it, electrolytic capacitors at least and re, it remained a mystery to me so as soon as I took the alligator clip which was coming from the old bad channel and hooked it up to the one of the channels nothing at all happened but then um, as soon as I hooked it up to the bad channel again and the bad channel of the main amp and that was it so now I got to continue looking um, at the 
main amp board so I suspect it might be this capacitor right here which which is a one microfarad 25 volt capacitor I'm not gonna play around long I got a, a bunch of them here I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, s swap it out that's the easiest way okay I've got the capacitor swapped out the one microfarad 25 volt capacitor and now I'm going to go ahead and try the base control see if I get that jumping no I don't I, so I would venture to say I think that took care of the problem there's even more capacitors on that um, main amp board but I'm not yet sure whether I'm going to replace them at the moment so I guess the moral of the story is if you're if they're stumping in the through the loudspeaker through the base through the woofer basically and while you turn the base control you need to swap out the electrolytic capacitors on the tone control board which I think is a total of eight and for good measure at least you should swap out the two capacitors going into the main amp right after the tone control board or little or two little one microfarad 25 um, volt capacitors that'll definitely save you uh, a headache <laughs>